<laughs> All right, we're doing it. We're doing it, speaking to a camera, um, doing it. I'm reporting to you from day six of isolation, mid coronavirus, mid COVID-19. Not having a lot of fun, honestly. Uh, not loving it. I've definitely had more exciting weeks than the past six days have been. Not fully locked down yet, so until it, <laughs> till it blows over, YouTube. Yeah, if I don't speak to someone or do something slightly different to what I'm normally doing, which is watching Netflix in bed, I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, so this is what it's come to, I guess, YouTube tutorials. Um, you might have seen, I don't know how, I don't know how my shot looks. I don't, I don't know how my shot looks. So somewhere it's gonna be a nice little lower third and I thought, I've shown this to a couple of people, how I do this and um, they liked it and they use it. So I thought, you know, whilst I'm in front of the camera, I've worked in video for, it's gonna make me feel very old, about seven plus years now. So straight into full time at 16, I got an apprenticeship five days a week and that's literally what I've been doing for seven years. I've always had to work to deadlines, which is a shock, I know. I've had to find ways of making videos look good, look nice, cinematic, fast. And this that I'm gonna show you now, is one of the things that has worked really well for me, just really quick, no plugins, no blah, 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 blah. I'll show you, it's quick, but I think it looks really nice. It just looks a lot more cinema rather than just dropping on the, the cross dissolve or the film dissolve. It just all fading at the same time. It looks a whole lot more cinematic with the sweep. It looks quite nice with that sound effect as well. Anyone can do this. You don't need to be, you know, super fluent on Premiere. You don't need to be, you know, an After Effects wizard. It's literally all Premiere, no plugins. I guess I'll shut up and just show you how to do it. Let's go. Shall I do what it? Hang on. Let's hop into Premiere. Did, did it look sick? So I've opened up Premiere. Here's what you want to do. You want to go into graphics. This will work on um, things that aren't just graphics that you've made in Premiere. But let's go with cinematic title. Straighten that up a little bit. So what you want to do is go over to Opacity and click this oval ellipse mask and drag it so it's kind of covering the whole screen. It really comfortably fits the, the text in it. Then you want to go back over to here, create the mask feather at about 400. So you can see it's just about not touching it. This might be different for whatever it is that your words are, but it worked perfectly for this. Um, and what you want to do is, if you can kind of see the, the effect already taking shape here, so what you want to do is drag this to the top left, or the top right, however you prefer. And I do this because it looks a little bit better rather than just coming straight across, although if you want to do that, go for it. I think it looks a little bit better coming down and, down and across. So we're going to put that there and we will hit mask expansion and then we're just going to hit play, say about there and then we're going to drag mask expansion and just do it until you can see the whole text. So sometimes you want to just drag it and do it quickly and it'll, you know, leave it looking like that. So you want to drag it all the way across and that is it. Just like that. Um, there's lots of different variations of ways that you can do this, even if you want to, just for example's sake, is just drag that up there. Let's see what happens with that. A little bit different. And then you can even, as I mentioned before, just drag it to the side. And that's it, really. As you can see, it looks really nice. You can play with them if you want to smooth the keyframes, change it up a little bit. 
And that is it, uh, simple as that. I did tell you that anyone could do it. I hope you've done it. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, liking and subscribing would help a lot. Any more COVID-19 videos coming your way, I'm not sure. If you have anything that you've seen on my channel maybe, and you wonder how I've done it, let me know. I am bored out of my brains. So I'll probably do anything at this point. Like, comment, what else do YouTubers say? Subscribe, that's a good one. Uh, I'm probably gonna do an iPhone giveaway, so you probably wanna stay tuned for that. Definitely also got a 24 hour hide and seek challenge coming your way. Cool, yeah, I guess that's all from me. Um, until next time, lots of love. Uh, stay safe, wash your hands. Peace.